the casual look goes I didn't want to change into something pretty so I just left what I was wearing <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today's look is on this like I don't know quite what to call it it's like a double glitter liner cut crease wing thing not quite sure yet but it's kind of the gist of it it's a very neutral eye I just do the eye makeup today guys and I paired it with a red lip because I kind of got over just doing like a nude I've been doing nudes so much lately <laughs> I've been doing nudes <laughs> I've been doing like a lot of nude lips lately and I was like oh I might jazz it up and I'll do a red and I just really like how it turned out it reminds me of like that Hollywood glam because it is kind of that liner look I just did a bit more pizzazz to it with like a bit of glitter a bit of smokiness a bit of liner you know anywho if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look then please stay watching Let's go to it, huh? <laughs> hey guys. So yeah, just excuse that little ratty that I've got on the back of my head. I'm not loving it right now, so I'm just gonna pin that back. There we go. So we're gonna start off with the face of uh, the face. The eyes first. I thought I'd just keep it as an eye tutorial today, guys. I'll make sure to leave my foundation routine linked up in the cards above, like I'm directing you here. I did decide to keep it as like a eyeshadow tutorial today because I have you know, been doing a lot of full faces lately and I thought you guys could just check those, you know, my foundation routines out in my other videos, but I have left my link up above if you would like to check that out. So let's move on to the eyes, shall we? So, first of all, I'm taking a, uh, a couple transition colours. These are two shades that are slightly deeper than my natural skin tone, so they act as a perfect kind of transition colour and also just a shade to deepen up the crease with. I'm taking them on a petite crease brush and this is like a nice dome shaped brush so it's going to help the shadow be applied in a more focused area. I have more control over where I'm applying the shadow but it also blends it out at the same time with those side bristles and as you can see here I'm holding it on a kind of downward angle so the bristles are kind of just resting against my natural like crease brow bone area. So as I'm applying this shadow, it's actually blending it out for me. It's so easy. It's such a great trick to use to save time. It's less effort, less work. It's all that good stuff. Next, I'm going to grab my concealer and I'm grabbing the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige and I'm applying this with an eye concealer brush all the way across my lid from inner to outer corner and then I'm winging, winging it. <laughs> I can't speak today, sorry. Then I'm winging it out towards the tail of my brow so it's on a, a little upward angle so it lifts the eyes subtly as well. And this is going to create a little base for the eyeshadows that we apply on top. And kind of creates a guide for the shape of the eye look that I'm creating as well. Next I'm taking White Lies from Makeup Geek. It's just a mate, a mate. <laughs> it's just a matte eyeshadow, a matte white. And I'm applying this all the way across my inner third of my lid. So all on, like just kind of building it up, creating it nice and pigmented because I want a nice bright inner half of my lid. Next I'm taking that transition colour that we used before and I'm applying that where the white meets the concealer. So it's going to be a transition colour for the deeper browns that we're applying next. So the white kind of fades into them. And I'm packing this on with my chisel shader brush as well. And then I'm going back in with the white again to fade it into the brown. So there's no harsh lines and I do this for a fair bit during the video I go back and forth between different shadows so that it's a nice soft blend and there's no harsh lines I went in with this deep brown shade um, right after I used that light brown and I was like oh it's a bit too dark so I went in with a more medium tone brown um, right next to the transition brown because I thought it needed to be a softer brown like I think I jumped too many brown shades ahead I was like oh it's a bit too harsh so I went back in with this lighter brown shade and I went in and just placed that next to that transition brown. Then I go back and take that deeper brown shade that I applied a bit too, a bit too hastily before and I apply that right next to that medium brown shade. So as you can see here I'm just grabbing a deeper brown shade each time and packing it along 
um, towards the outer corner of the eye. Then I'm taking this kind of grey toned brown shade. I thought this would be a nicer transition into the black rather than just the deep brown. So I placed that where the beginning of my wing takes off <laughs> kind of thing. And I'm placking that on with a more pro precision brush so it, I have more control over the application of that shadow. And then lastly, I'm taking this black eyeshadow. It's a matte black. I do recommend that you use matte shadows all over the lid, not shimmers. That's going to create a smoother blend. And I'm packing this matte black all over the outer part of my wing and filling it in. And then I go back in across the lid again with all those previous shades that I used before to deepen up the gradient and help them blend into one another because I didn't really do much blending before. I just kind of packed on the shade. And then I use this time now to deepen up the pigment where I need to and blend them into one another so it's a little bit more smoother of a gradient. So you just take your time with this step guys, go back and forth between shadows where you feel like you need to. I know I went back and forth between a few shadows to get my perfect blend. And especially where the white meets that transition colour, just go back and forth between those shades to really get a nice smooth blend. Because white and brown are slightly different shades on the spectrum so it's going to take a bit more effort rather than the other brown shades. So once you've got your nice soft gradient like so, nice little blend. We're going to take some liquid liner. I'm using two today because I find I have more control with the Haley Baldwin one, which I'm going in with now. And I'm creating a thin line across the lash line. Like, and I mean really thin, guys, a really thin line to kind of just deepen up the lash line a bit more. Then I go in and also crispen up the wing a little bit. But then I take a liquid, a liquid. Oh my god, I can't believe I said that. Sorry. And then I take. <laughs> Then I take a different liquid liner. This is the Milani Infinite Liquid Liner in the shade Everlast. And I'm placing this on the outer part of my wing. And I'm just filling it in basically, filling in the outermost point of the wing and fading it into the black eyeshadow. So I don't want to cover that whole black eyeshadow area, just the outer points. So it creates kind of like a smoky liner look. Next for the fun part, which is the glitter. I'm taking my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art Glitter Liner in the shade Topaz Twinkle. So I'm placing it on the inner half of my eye, all, taking it all the way to where that black um, liquid liner meets my lash line. And I'm also bringing it across my cut crease area, not from all the way from the inner corner. I'm starting from about a third of the way um, across the lid and all, uh, sorry and taking it all the way across to the tail of my wing. So going across the top of that black liner, so I'm going along the crease area of my eyes, you guys can see here. And I go over it a couple of times to make sure that, that glitter liner is really pigmented and it stands out on the lid because it really is a statement on that lid. It creates a bit of something, something extra, you know what I mean? And guys, for lashes today, I took the Icona lashes in the shirt, and they're in the style from their Midnight Collection. It's in the style, sorry I'm just tongue tied today, in the style Make Him Miss Me. So they're shorter on the inner corners and longer on the outer corner. So they complement the eye look in the sense that they complement the arm and shape eye that we went for, like that cut eye look. And they're also super wispy as well. So they just don't cut, they don't cover up any of the eyeshadow or anything like that. They just give a bit of volume and a bit of fullness to the lashes. Next I'm going to take my black coal liner from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade uh, Obsidian. And I'm placing this on my tight line to kind of thicken up the lashes and hide any skin color that might be peeking through. And also on my water line. And I'm also bringing it slightly down on the outer corner lash line. So I'm just dragging that coal liner underneath a little bit on the outer corner, not on the inner corners. Next, I'm taking a black eyeshadow again and I'm placing this over top of that black coal liner and smoking it out a little bit. I want to focus focus most of the product on the outer corner of my eye guys and then just taper it in towards the inner corner. Next I'm taking these two deep brown shades that I used before and I'm just creating that same gradient effect but on the bottom lash line so I'm going from the black into the deeper browns and then I'm taking that medium brown shade and buffing out the browns. So I'm just creating a smoky bottom lash line and continuing that gradient. Next for my inner corner and brow bone pop, bit of highlight, I'm taking Ice Queen, which has got a bit of a sheen to it. It's not a shimmer, I would say, but it does have a bit of like a sheen to the um, eyeshadow. I'm placing this on my inner corners, the very inner points, and also on the bottom tear duct area of the lash line. 
and also placing it on my brow bone as well, guys, for a brow bone highlight. Next, I placed on some bottom lash mascara, guys, to finish off the eye look. I really love how it turned out. I'm really proud of like myself. I pushed myself out of my comfort zone, and I really love how this eye look turned out. So, but guys, make sure you let me know what you think of the eye look. I love hearing what you guys think. For lip color today, guys, I took matte chat from Zoeva and paired it with Wolfie from ColourPop, which is a stunning metallic-y kind of pinky red shade. And place those on my lips for a glossy finish. And I wanted that deep red lip look, like I said at the beginning, because I was a bit overdoing nudes all the time, you know, but over the nudes. <laughs> I thought I'd jazz it up a bit, and I did remind me of that Hollywood style kind of makeup look. So, without any more rambling on, let me wrap up this video for you. So, guys, this wraps up today's makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just like. It's a bit of fun. It's like a neutral glam look. So if you guys did like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up before you leave, please. And if you would like, subscribe down below. But don't forget to hit that little notification button right next to it. So you guys can stay notified of my latest videos and tutorials. Otherwise, guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye.